Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got my um, Sinful Colors uh, Halloween collection haul that I did. I don't think I got all of them. I know I didn't get the black one because I was like, I don't need another black cream. I've got like one from every brand. It's just too many, and I, I wasn't interested in that. But I believe I've got the whole collection here. If not, if you know different than me, let me know something down below. Let me know what I'm missing, and um, I'll hunt that down too. Because that's what I do. I'm a nail polish junkie. I have nail polishes. So this is the Halloween collection from this year, 2018. And I have uh, managed to, you know, grab them. And then I also got some others that I'm not sure if they're part of the Halloween collection. Or if they, you know, somehow... Uh, just ended up in my basket because they're gorgeous you know how this happens girls you know we have good intentions but so I'm lining them up here okay this is the second time I've recorded this video because I recorded me doing swatches and y'all showing y'all um, swatches on these I will tell you that all of these had just a great formula um, simple colors really does well on their formulations all of these are two coats for every polish I did swatch the um, glow in the dark one here. You can see it's just a tinge different than the one next to it, the solid white one, but no biggie. And it doesn't have a pretty name. It's just called glow in the dark. Glow in the dark. There you go. And then they had a beautiful red. We all know I don't wear, wear red much, but I just, I wanted to try to get the collection. And I don't know that I have a true red from Simple Colors, so I went ahead and got it. Plus, it was bitten. I had to have it, you know, bitten. Are you kidding? Look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful red cream. Then this jelly. Let me just tell y'all about this. This is two coats on the swatch wheel. Very nice. Quite opaque for two coats and it being a jelly. This one is called Witch Please. And it's got all those iridescent, opalescent looking flakies in it. And I just adore this one. I don't know that it really screams Halloween to me, but, you know, oh well. Now, the next one's more Halloween to me, and this one's called Bad Witch, and it's got lots and lots of little glitters in there. It's like purple and blue, maybe different shades of blue, but it's just gorgeous. I love it. I'm really, really into these kind of polishes, and I love that Simple Colors gives us things like this. And here we go with this gorgeousness. This one's called Spellbound. This one is one I'm not 100% sure was part of the Halloween collection. But it's got a name that insinuates that it was. Spellbound. So I picked it up. To me, it's a very princess color. It's got so much shimmer and shine going on in it. It is just fantastic. I love it. And the blue one over here that I'm getting to, um, it is also very similar. It's just the blue version. So there we go with Spellbound. Next we have this one. And this one I don't believe is new. I think this was a re-promote they just threw over there in with the other Halloween polishes. And this is Courtney Orange, but it is a perfect orange for Halloween. It's got that gold shimmer in it. We all know I love that. And now to the blue version of the purple one. This one is not, I believe, not part of the Halloween collection, but it could be. It's mysterious, and I like that. It's gorgeous. It's got the shimmer and the delicateness. I just uh, love polishes like that. And then about this one, and this one is so not part of the collection, but I had to have it, and it's called Let Me Go. And here it is, all on its own. It is just beautiful. It's so dainty. It's just beautiful. And then I did a coat of it over black. And look what a difference. It's hard to believe those are even the same polishes. Now that looks kind of Halloween. You could do something with that, you know? Okay, so the reason for this haul, not only did I want to try to get my hands on the Halloween collection, but also um, there was... A rumor going around on Instagram that um, people were finding sinful colors at Walgreens marked down and the stickers were saying last chance on them which means they're going to discontinue them and get rid of them and no longer carry them 
Well, that put me in a panic because that's where I find all of my good sinful color stuff, if I can even find it, is Walgreens. My Walmart carries sinful colors, but their, their makeup nail polish department is awful. I mean, I promise, one of these days I'm going to take pictures and show you all how bad it really is. It's just disgusting. And I don't really blame Walmart. I blame the shoppers, the customers. They're just nasty. So, um, I ran out and I went to a couple of Walgreens. The first Walgreens I went to, um, they didn't have any signs on their um, sinful colors yet. And I didn't bother to ask because there was a line. But the next one I went to had had the little sticker on all of them and these were marked down from $1.99 to $1.49 and Walgreens is pretty good about keep marking stuff down so you might want to check your local Walgreens if there's a shade that you're really really wanting you might want to go ahead and grab it now before it gets really hard to find um, also on Instagram some people were saying well hopefully by them doing this maybe they'll be um, have more of an online store where you can go like purchase the collections or you know purchase stuff from their core line too that would be really really nice oh by the way that's what's on my thumb this one right here <laughs> this one's called bad witch bad witch she's such bling tastic and i put her on all the nails got a little smitch on that one but i put her on all the nails because it's just so pretty. So, I just wanted to throw that out there to inform you guys of what I've heard from the rumor mill. And a lot of you are on Instagram also, but I know some of my friends here on YouTube are not on Instagram at all. So, they would not have picked up on this. And I wanted to share it just in case, you know. Or if you have a couple of, or a few, or a bunch of sinful uh, <laughs> colors that you're in love with and you you just rely like I do that oh I can just run to the store and buy that well you know if Walgreens stops selling them and Walmart's not doing a very good job stocking things then you might want to consider going and picking up some backups of your favorites and especially if you can get them for a little bit less so, I mean a dollar fifty a dollar fifty for good polishes with good formulas like this they got my name. They got my number. They got me. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know if you have any of the Simple Colors Halloween polishes. And like I said, if I missed any other than the black one, because I did not get that. I think it was just black to black or back to black or something like that. I didn't get that one because I didn't need another black cream. But if I missed something, let me know down below so I can try to snatch it up. As always, I want to thank you for watching. I appreciate your support. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, I Bye. forgot to show you the simple colors. Look how well that works. You can even see it says simple colors on the bottle. Wonderful glow in the dark. Love it, love it. Thanks for watching.